grass. 303 pace. Well, slow down then. Slow down, you idiot. <laughs> Don't want to make it home. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. You're joining us here in Canary Wharf in the east side of London because I'm so excited today because we've got the first big shoe drop of the year. The Nike Streak Fly is in the house. The perfect shoe apparently for five and 10K races. So we're putting this through its moves today and see what we think. But first of all, as always guys, let me know what's happening with you. We're here, me and Sarah, who's just recovering from her 100 mile race. That's coming up very soon. We've got a session to do today, training for Manchester Marathon, which is coming up so quickly. So yeah, sit back, relax. We've got loads to get through today. Let's get this done. Sorry for the slight delay in videos. This amazing girl has been taking center stage at the moment. She's just getting some nice shots, which you'll see in the full review coming up very soon. Because yeah, we have, I have not run one single step in this shoe. It's come straight out the box. Absolutely brand spanking new. Let's get these uh, streak flies on. Are you excited for the shoe? Yeah, let me know down in the comments. But in about the most hype shoe we've seen in such a long time. First impressions getting it on the foot. Well, feels very nice and comfortable, nice little snug fit. But anyway, we're gonna do about three more K jog um, for the warm up for the whole session, and then we'll get into a little deep dive into all the facts and figures. It's not quite as warm as I thought today. New rest day sweaters in the black colorway on the website. But more importantly, let's look at the facts and figures of this new Nike Street Fly. So coming in around about 135 pounds. I bought this 100% with my own money off the Nike website. You had to get in very quick. This sold out in about five minutes. So this is a prototype colorway, a short limited edition release um, that they're doing all around the world. And then the, the, there'll be a big normal drop um, I don't know when, but probably in around a couple of months. This hasn't released in every country so far. I think America is coming up in the very next few days. So the back of shoe, 32 mil stack height. So that technically means it is illegal to use on a track in a race. In reality, that doesn't affect too many people. It's only really the pros that need to worry about that sort of thing. But for road racing and everything like that, completely legal shoe. And you've got the beautiful Zoom X foam here all along the bottom, super springy, just absorbs that impact and go that spring. So there's no carbon plate in this shoe. As you can see, you can bend it quite nicely. Um, there's something called a, um, a shank in the middle of the shoe, which is made of a, a material called Perbex. It's a little bit new to me and I'm learning about it, but it just really helps that transition, that spring load there, and taking out the carbon plate just makes it super light. So this in my size is coming in at just over 200 grams. Now compared to a Vaporfly in my size, that's around 250 grams, 240, 250. So finally a few little facts, it's a neutral shoe and there's no different widths or anything like that available, just completely here in one size. Right, the rest of it, we've got to go and put this through its paces and get this session done. So today's session, we've done about 6K uh, warming up, so I can put all the miles and stuff on the screen. Uh, 6K warm up, and then we're going to do four by 1K with a two minute walking recovery. In reality for me, that's gonna be two and a half minute walking recovery because we're filming and stuff. I'm not really recovering, but if you do it, two minutes will be fine. Um, then we're gonna do 4K easy, just to tire the legs out a little bit more. Then we're gonna do another four by 1K after that. Um, and then jog, warm down, back home. So in terms of pacing, I'm not gonna do this super fast. I'm gonna use around about 10K pace for me. So 3.15 to 3.20 a K pace. We'll be perfectly happy with that. Right, we're here, we're about to start the session. So let's just roll into this. Here we go, getting fit for Manchester and testing out the street flies. Let's get this done. First K, rep done, 316, bang on the money, where we wanted to be, feeling nice, she's rolling well, and yeah, all smiles. Brushed by the XL London Marathon, home of the London Marathon, 
Expo. Here we go, rep number two. Three fourteen for that one, a second too fast. We just kind of got rolling, felt all right. Just by the airport here. Sarah, can you film some of the planes? Yeah. Two minutes to film planes. A little announcement. Me and Sarah will be heading off to the island, Portuguese island of Madeira very soon in April for the Madeira Island Ultra Trail. Going to be on the trails again in the mountains um, after Manchester Marathon. Sarah's wearing the uh, big girl pants, whatever you want to say. She's doing the 115, too, too hardcore for me right now, but building up to UTMB training. And yeah, I'll be doing the 65 or something like that. We're at number three. Third rep done, 313.69. Uh, yeah, but feeling all right. Maybe that will come back to haunt me later, but it's feeling nice and controlled. Love doing sessions out here by the airport. Run out of room on that one. <laughs> Run out of straight room. Very pretty at the end, 314 for that one. So still, nice. No, did misjudged planning this route out on Strava. Right, 4K jog, easy pace. So here we go, getting it done again. Route number five. Three, fourteen for the first one back. Yeah, just these shoes just want to go fast. I find myself holding back with how I'm doing these reps today. There is a little bit of wind behind, um, so a little bit wind assisted, but it's fairly minimal. Right, guys, here we go. Rep number six. Lucky number six. Six to a lucky number. It is today. Three, fourteen. We're getting a little bit consistent, but that's good. It's good with reps. It's good with running. It's good with racing. Or maybe racing you want to be a little bit progressive, a little bit negative, splitty. But yeah, not too bad. If you want to know what I've got on my watch screen today, yeah, don't. I haven't planned this into the workouts it's just k reps i work in case so i watch auto laps in k's so we've just got lap time uh so just so i know how long the recoveries are so it's ticking down now lap distance so i can see how long i've got to go till we get to a k sarah's just going to film the screen here and uh then lap pace which i'm not really looking at i look at it a little bit hold but uh still. i've got to hold still look at it a little bit okay. lap pace just so i know okay. uh yeah where how fast I'm running basically, try and get that sort of 3.15ish pace. It's time to do the tough work now, rep number seven. Too fast, 3.03 pace. Slow down then, slow down you idiot. You still want to make it home. It's the shoes, it's the shoes. I'm gonna do a jog mid rep. All right. 309, 310, right. Yeah, promising. What was that one, please? 314, as usual. Nice, consistent. Are you guys enjoying your speed work at the moment? What are your favourite sessions that you're doing? I think. My favourite is always K-Reps. Just such a classic thing. 
I like it when you can do K reps and six by three minutes in the same session when you're doing three minute K reps. We'll build up to that soon, maybe in a couple of weeks. We're gonna get the Takumi Sens out for the session next week and see how they compare in the battle for the fastest five and 10K and park run shoes. All right, let's get wound up for final rep, K number eight. Let's finish off in style. So what do you think guys? Final rep, 305. Having a bit of fun on that one. It felt good to really open up the legs and get these shoes turning. Boy, are they fast. Boy, do they inspire confidence. I'm gonna get my breath for a couple of minutes and then we've got a 4K jog back to the crystal and then we'll sum, it's like the crystal maze. Rich O'Brien. To the dome! Right. Super happy with that. So some first impressions of this shoe. I mean, I think if I could think of any sort of negative, it may be just run a smidge, just a tiny little bit too big. Um, I got these in my usual 12. I, if I was in a shop, do people do that anymore? And I could try 11 and a half and I probably would have definitely done that. But saying that I had really no slip and the ankle lock really nicely. It's got the similar sort of uh, padding here at the back that the vapor flies and the alpha flies have. And it's just super cushioned on your Achilles there. Really nice and just sort of locked down nice. No hot spots, no slipping at all. Just, just there's a little bit of room at the front, but it didn't cause any problems. Second point talking about these is this beautiful upper they've got on this. I think it's very similar to the dragonfly upper on the track spikes that they have. It's super, it's just so, so lightweight. You can pretty much see through it. Great airflow going through there when you're picking up the speed. Shoes didn't heat up at all. Just the lightness of this shoe. It's pretty much the lightest shoe I've ever run in, apart from the track spikes. But for a road shoe, yeah, just glorious. Your feet just gliding. The cadence, that turnover, it's just, just beautiful to run in. Significant weight, weight decrease from the vapor flies. And of course, the alpha flies, which are about 100 grams heavier than these. And the final point guys is just flipping fast. I mean I can't deny that for an eighth rep there at 305k pace. I just put a smile to my face. The cadence, yeah I have quite a high cadence. Ground contact time is, is minimal which is something I've really worked on over the years and if you are someone that, that with a high cadence minimal time on the ground it's just going to pop through this like sort of as I said this perfect shank in the, the energy transition through the stride. Saying that we've only done one session it's early days this shoe has still got some negative points to come I'm sure we're going to have to find some more negative points this shoe but at this stage it's all smiles really really loving it and I can't wait to bring you that full review which will be dropping in about two to three weeks when we've got up to a decent amount at least 100k we've got the invincibles back on now we've got about five or six k jog home on 22.6k already so what's that gonna be about 28k for the day which puts us on nearly 100k for the week after four days so super happy with that really happy with the session manchester training is coming along well at the moment and i will let you guys know as soon as i can about the manchester shakeout run which we'll do the day before the race to hopefully meet up with lots of you guys out there so that's it from me and from sarah check out the website we've got the new rest days and we've got an awesome new t-shirt on there as well for people chasing the marathon majors thank you all the patron guys and girls and the supporters here on youtube as well sarah's trying not to get in the shot and i'm going to get her in the shot anyway so from me and sarah lots of love and we'll see you in the next one